Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shweta Anand and welcome back to my channel Simplified Dentistry. Today's topic is Centric Relation, Centric Occlusion and Maximum Intercuspation. So first let's start with Centric Relation. Centric Relation is defined as a maxillomandibular relationship independent of tooth contact in which the condyles articulate in the anterior superior position against the posterior slopes of the articular eminences. In this position, the mandible is restricted to a purely rotatory movement. From this unstrained physiologic maxillomandibular relationship, the patient can make vertical, lateral or protrusive movements. It is a clinically useful, repeatable reference position. So this was the definition of centric relation which is quite complicated. Now let's understand it in simple words. So centric relation is defined as a maxillomandibular relationship that is relationship of the maxilla to the mandible and it is independent of tooth contact that is it is bone to bone position in which the condyles articulate in the anterior superior position that is the front and at the top position of the posterior slope of the articular eminences. In this position, the mandible is restricted to purely rotatory movement. By rotatory movement, it means that the body rotates about a fixed non-moving axis. From this unstrained, that is not forced or produced by effort, physiologic, that is something which is normal, maxillomandibular relationship, that is jaw relationship, the patient can make vertical, lateral or protrusive movements. To know in detail about each movement, you can watch my video on maxillomandibular movements. Centric relation is clinically useful as it is the starting point for developing occlusion and repeatable reference position as it remains constant throughout the life. It is a definite learned position from which the mandible can move to any eccentric position and return back involuntarily. It also acts as center from which all movements can be made. If the mandible has to move from one eccentric position to another, it should go to the centric position before advancing to the target eccentric position that is either protrusive or lateral movement. Functional movements like chewing and swallowing are performed in this position because it is the most unstrained position. Now let's know about maximal intercuspal position. It is also known as maximal intercuspation. It is defined as the complete intercuspation of the opposing teeth independent of the condylar position. It can also be defined as the relationship between the maxillary and mandibular teeth which produces the maximal contact between the respective occlusal surfaces. Sometimes it is also referred to as the best fit of the teeth regardless of the condylar position. Now let's know about centric occlusion. It is defined as the occlusion of opposing teeth when the mandible is in centric relation. It refers to the position of maximal bilateral balanced contact between the cusp of the maxillary and mandibular hatches. This may or may not coincide with the maximal intercuspal position. In natural dentition, maximal intercuspal position need not coincide with centric relation. Whereas when fixed and removable prostheses are fabricated with existing natural teeth, they may be made to coincide with the existing normal maximal intercuspal position if sufficient natural teeth are present to guide the occlusion. It should be noted that maximal intercuspal position is made to coincide with centric relation only when there are insufficient occlusal contacts existing to guide the occlusion. Whereas in complete dentures, maximal intercuspal position is always given at centric relation. Now let's know about some points which need to be noted. Centric relation is a bone to bone relation that is it is a muscular skeleton position anatomically determined 
repeatable and reproducible whereas maximal intercuspal position in centric occlusion are tooth to tooth relation that is it is a dental determined position in centric relation there is no teeth intercuspation whereas in centric occlusion sometimes there is maximal intercuspation in centric relation the condyles are in the most retruded unstring position in the glenoid fossa whereas centric occlusion refers to a position of maximal bilateral balanced contact between the cusp of the maxillary and mandibular arches it can be assumed that the centric relation is certainly a posterior border position a retruded position maybe not the most retruded independent of tooth contact which is comfortable repeatable and recordable for the patient and allows easy access to all other eccentric positions of the mandible now let's know about the significance of centric relation centric relation is the most important record to obtain for complete denture construction because of the following reasons in natural dentition maximal intercuspal position may not coincide with centric relation but this does not create any damage as the proprioceptive receptors present in the periodontal ligaments direct the mandible away from the deflective occlusal contacts whereas in completely edentulous individuals these receptors are lost along with the teeth so they cannot avoid deflective contacts in centric relation this will cause movement of denture base displacement of supporting tissues and direct the mandible away from its path hence maximal intercuspal position must coincide with centric relation in completely edentulous individuals the face bore record of maxillary cast is made in centric relation hence the mandibular cast will also be correctly oriented to the opening axis of the articulator only if it is mounted in centric relation centric relation position changes with variations in vertical dimension so the centric relation must be recorded at the established vertical dimension which is normal for an individual since centric relation is a border position it can be recorded reproduced and verified over a period of time it is a learned position to which the patient can voluntarily return the mandible returns to this position during all its functional movements hence it is convenient and comfortable this posterior reference position allows easy access to all other excursive positions pain and lack of occlusal integrity and instability have been associated with complete dentures not fabricated with maximal intercuspal position in centric relation therefore it is necessary to record centric relation for complete denture construction thank you for watching this video and for more such contents related to dentistry please like share and subscribe to simplified dentistry